hope you guys doing well and today I'm going to show you that how you can create a dynamic uh, dummy content using your emits so uh, here we got some uh, uh, examples here so I've added lurium and we got the uh, a single line with the dummy content dummy content is uh, mm, is how it's it's just uh, we can use the dummy content for the uh, they do not index in the google search so that's why we uh, if you don't have any content or pending uh, from content uh, right to side so, so you can also add the dummy content within your html document with the uh, dynamic so you don't need to uh, go to the um, dummy content website and uh, copy your dummy content and then uh, paste in your html so uh, that's very uh, simple and uh, uh, useful uh, thing for uh, every developer so i'm gonna add some uh, word based emits like uh, I'm gonna add lurium here and then 10 I'm, I need for example I need 10 words to write in my uh, tag or any any kind of um, uh, HTML so here we got 10 results for example I'm gonna add some uh, uh, lengthy paragraph for um, any um, detail page or any mm, single dot uh, single page so medium. and then you can also add hundred or mm, more than thousand and mm, more than uh, a million words with writing a single line of code so I'm gonna add here some hundred examples so here we got the hundred examples within one line so I'm gonna indent here and you got the one two three four five six seven seven lines so now I'm gonna use this um, uh, within our uh, tags so paragraph tag and then lurium and then uh, ten uh, maybe uh, we just uh, uh, need to add uh, greater than sign here and then paragraph here uh, so you get the so you can also add the tags within uh, lurium for example I'm gonna add some unordered list here and then list tag here and then greater than sign some Lurium and line 10 and with the static 6 so you can get the results with each line uh, so uh, that's very useful for example uh, I'm gonna add some more examples here uh, more dynamic and more uh, useful so li with the class generic and then list greater than sign lurium 10 with the item static 4 so you will get the results with the class and then uh, dummy content and then with the uh, ul class so you can also add some up uh, more detailed content like header and then uh, ul with the class um, nav and then li and you need to add some dummy content within your li so lurium line number five line 
or maybe uh, two words and then class here uh, nav items and you can add curly braces and then plus sign and uh, then you can also add curly braces here and then add some section and then container and then row uh, with every row have the paragraph and the lorem have 20 lorem have uh, 10 with the class uh, um, paragraph so you will get more dynamic with the with every line for example i'm gonna add multiple allies like six so uh static six maybe static six should be here static six yeah here we got the results ul li and then div tag and then uh, add here some drop down list like uh, and uh, here we have some mistake within our image because yeah it will generate the section and then container and then row and then with the lurium content within the paragraph so uh, here we got the paragraph and then so that's all for now and uh, hope you guys uh, uh, enjoy my tutorial and uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel uh, so yeah, in our future lectures uh, I will uh, uh, add some uh, uh, CSS images in a CSS file so how to generate a gradient or uh, how to generate a web kits uh, so uh, that's all for now uh, see you guys in my next video